The addition of Jeff Halfley as defensive coordinator, first impressions? Really like his leadership style, his energy. Um, really uh, excited to get to know him more and, and kind of see what his vision for our defense is. Um, I think he's going to be a welcome addition and uh, excited about where he can take our roster. A lot of work to do. Um, there's a lot of uh, him getting to know our players and what they do well. And then obviously, again, talking about the competition in every room and making sure our team, uh, we have the depth that we're going to need to have to get through 2024, but excited what he, he's going to bring to the table. Over the years, you've invested a lot in your defense. What do you want to see out of that unit? What yeah. play style would you like to see? Yeah, I think that Matt and I, one of the things we talk about is the play style, right? We want uh, an aggressive effort, physical defense that uh, is consistent that way, that it uh, doesn't ride waves, um, that you can kind of count on something that's week in and week out. Uh, and that's tough at this league because there's some really good teams out there and it's tough to stay consistent uh, over the course of the season. Um, but the play style and, and what we look like on tape, more so than schematics, I think is, is what I want to see. This week at the Combine is a very important part for us to see um, you know, what is out there and do we feel these guys can come in and play right away as rookies. Um, and then as our defensive staff gets together and, and continues to work through their process of getting to know our team, and particularly the free agent class, we'll kind of look to see how we're going to piece that together. But there's great opportunity there. We have some young players we're excited about coming back. Um, so we'll have to see how that all shakes out. Do you expect to be a player, an active player in the free agency market? I do, and I think we are every year. Um, there's good players in this free agency class. Certainly, we're going to be in the mix in some of those things. Part of coming through the combine is finding out some of that stuff, not only with the free agent class, but also the draft class and looking at it um, kind of holistically and saying, okay, what is the best route for the Green Bay Packers? How does the free agent market and this draft class match up with where on your team you're anticipating needing yeah. help. How does it match up? Yeah, I think I think pretty solidly. And again, we're in the beginning stages, but I think uh, pretty solidly. I think uh, uh, for me, it's just really about trying to find the best overall football players. Certainly, there's only so many difference makers in the National Football League. So if you have a chance to acquire a difference maker, regardless of position, you're going to be, you know, in that market. To me, it's more about what kind of quality players and people can we bring to our locker room to create the healthy competition we need for our team to kind of to move forward. Several times during our conversation, you've mentioned the word competition. And isn't it amazing? Good old fashioned competition, wanting to be the guy yep. that is the guy, yeah. that that still matters and matters a bunch. Yeah, and I think it's, you know, whatever level of sport you're playing at, particularly a team sport, um, when there's healthy competition, guys get better. It's just human nature. Um, when you know you have to be at your best to hold your spot and accomplish what you want to accomplish, um, having a guy next to you that can be at your level and compete with you um, always will push you further than you can push yourself at times. And I think that's the healthiest way to, to build a team. We saw it this year, I think as the year went on, um, it was a really good healthy competition with our football team and I think it accelerated our growth and uh, that's what we're going to try to accomplish this year as well. On the outside, expectations are sky high, like Super Bowl sky high for the Green Bay Packers. To those expectations, you say what? I think they're external. Inside the building, that's kind of always the expectation. And I think you got to be careful in allowing that to set the tone or, or limit you in any way. Um, to me, it's really got to be focused on the process of getting better each and every day, each and every week. Um, each unit getting better together as a team. You know, I think hopefully that if there's anything that came out of 2023 for a team that carries over, it's that, is that don't ride the ups and downs, just focus on getting better and um, the results will come. And um, again, playing your best football at the end of the year is what's most important. And our team, I think, did that. Um, and hopefully some of those lessons will carry over, but every year is a new year. And if they don't put the time in, if they're not willing to sacrifice, um, that won't happen. So um, I think that's what you have to focus on, not the external expectations.